We are continuing with the Certified Review Developer Recertification Sample Questions and Answers videos. Please pause the video if necessary and scroll if necessary, then resume when the question says the following block diagram both the event structures are configured to not lock the front panel until the event case completes. What will be the VI's response if the two control values are changed? So in this case, both of the one and two, both of the controls are being used. That means both of the event structure is going to execute and the dialog is going to pop up. So option A is going to incorrect because it says no dialogs are displayed. Option B. So in this case, it says the VI front panel stops responding if two's value change. So this is incorrect as well because it's the it's in the sequence structure. That means uh, the first uh, event structure is going to read the data and only the second one. So option C, the VI runs as expected if two's value is changed before one's value is changed. Yes, this is the correct one uh, because the front panel is not locked by the configuration. And finally, the D, the VI's front panel stops responding. Again, this is going to be completely wrong because they are not locked. So our answer is C. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.